Hey everyone, it's me. I am just uh, wanted to make another video. I had to talk about this. I just watched another video on the topic I'm about to discuss, so I'm going to provide a link to that in the description. Please go take a look at it and listen to the guy. He speaks from the heart and he speaks truth, and I have a lot of similar sentiments, but I gotta say something about this shit. I have been... You're going to know exactly what I'm going to talk about as soon as I say this, this next sentence. I have been a Bethesda fan for a very long time. Uh, what really got me into Bethesda games, you know, was the was Fallout 3. Uh, I did, after playing that, go back and play Fallout 1 and 2, and I fucking love them. Uh, I, I've, I really loved, you know, the Bethesda-style RPG, you know, the, the player choice, the freedom, and all that. And I've noticed the company, you know, make a real significant change. You know, ever since they became a publisher, they, they started to fucking change quick. And Fallout 4 proved to me that they seem to be really dedicated to the path of casualization, dumbing down, and the removal of RPG elements from all their future titles for the New Age asshats. And they've, they're just becoming greedy. And they're, they're becoming the next EA, a greedy, soulless publisher who only cares about money and no longer has passion or love for making great games, which is what Bethesda used to be about. And Fallout 4 really showed a, a, a significant change in that, a significant shift in the company to, you know, where they were going. And, you know, they got the mobile titles, and now they're a publisher, and, you know. And then we come to E3 2017, Bethesda's conference. Why the fuck they showed up there, I don't know. They shouldn't have. It would have been better on them if they didn't. But, you know, they come in and and they basically just keep showing Skyrim over and over again. They had hardly anything to show at all. Maybe two new games, which was Evil Within 2 and Wolfenstein. But everything else was just a, a VR version. A shit VR version. Like, I, uh, Doom is supposed to be fast-paced frenetic action. What I seen there was fucking garbage. And it's going to be nausea-inducing, make people vomit. Uh, the stupid, you know, jump pad and moving around and warping bullshit VR. But anyways, you know, all they came up with was VR, 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 VR. They didn't give anything that people wanted. Didn't give any announcements of games that people were possibly hoping for. And then... Uh, sorry. I, I, just, I heard some, but anyways, I apologize about that. But uh, then we get on to the worst part of their conference, the conf the part that really fucking pissed me off about this company, and is really making me really start to hate them. And as I said, I'm now seeing them as a soulless, greedy, soulless publisher who, you know, make games, but they don't care about making great games anymore. And that's the Creation Club, Bethesda's Creation Club, which is paid mods 2.0. It's not paid mods. But you have to pay to get the mods. It's fucking paid mods 2.0. Like, did, did they not see the massive backlash that this had with Steam? And they're doing this shit again? And don't give me that bullshit about, oh, it's for the modders. Assume modders can get paid. Put a fucking donation button or a Patreon. That's how you want to get paid. This is just penny pinching by Bethesda to leech off of the paid mods. All they're going to do is a little bit of bug fixing and dusting off. And they're basically going to, you know, rip off the content of, of modders. And they're going to get, they want their penny pinching. They want their cut. They want their fucking cut. And what the success of Creation Club will do is it will spell the eventual death of free mods forever. Eventually, there will be no more options. I don't give a fuck what Bethesda says. Eventually, there will be no options for free mods. And there will only be options like Creation Club. That is eventually what it is going to come to. And eventually, Bethesda, if Creation Club gets successful, they're going to go and uh, cease and desist, take down notice of, of Nexus. Believe me, it's going to happen. I guarantee fucking tea you it's going to happen if we allow this shit to go forward. If we do not keep up the severe backlash, keep it going, ramp it up, and never let them live it down, if we don't force them to stop through severe backlash, which we know works, because look at the Xbox One's original policies. If there was not that severe backlash, it would not have changed. If we do not severely backlash against this, as a Bethesda fan, which I'm slowly but surely not becoming a fan, and as a person who's really enjoyed their past, admittedly fucking awesome, amazing RPGs, um, you know, it, it, the, the company is just going to continue going downhill, and you can say goodbye to free mods forever. 
And here's my other thing I'm going to say about this. Modding used to be about the love and passion for the game. The love and passion for that game and wanting to keep that game going and keep that community going and just, just out of love and passion. And that's what, and if you have a donation button, you want to donate, you want to Patreon, whatever, that's great. I'm glad you're supporting me. But it was done out of the love and passion for the game. Now, it seems that a lot of modders, maybe even most of them, are only getting into it now out of greed, out of money, out of wanting out of wanting money. They don't do it out of the love or passion for the game, out of wanting to, you know, make great things. It's out of greed and money now. And that's all the Creation Club is going to propagate, is these types of modders getting into it just out of greed and not out of passion or love. Do you know how many great, out of love and passionate modders, like, left the modding scene permanently after the uh, Steam, you know, uh, Bethesda bullshit with the paid mods? And now with Creation Club, aka Paid Mods 2.0, you can guarantee that a lot of great modders, people who really did it out of love and passion, will disappear. And it will inspire those, you know, uh, that just want dollars, as I see, dollar signs, dollar signs, dollar signs to get into it. It's kind of like how, you know, gaming in general, yes, it's a business, yes, you make money, but gaming in general used to be about love and passion for making the best product you can. They, developers back in the day really wanted to make the best game they can and still there you can find a few developers here that, that might do that today but by and large the vast majority of all the developers including the publishers and everyone involved in the gaming industry it's not out of love or passion for making a great product or wanting to make something that stands the test of time it's purely out of greed out of dollars a lot of people are getting into game development not because they have a passion for gaming not because they really want to make great games they're doing it just to make a buck just to make money and you really see it both in the development work both in the game quality and the stupid microtransaction dlc bullshit which publishers have way too much power and control over everything but you know not only is gaming in general gone you know to shit with greed now the modding scene and which is the most passionate largest you know modding scene which is in bethesda games it's gonna get destroyed it's gonna rip itself to shreds and and it's like fucking fuck you bethesda fuck you fuck your paid mods and fuck anyone who agrees with paid mods uh the link in the description will be for that video i'd want you to take out below you'll probably hear a couple same things that we say but yeah fuck paid mods and fuck anyone who supports them and if you're a modder who supports the fucking paid mod system, you know, I don't mind you getting paid for your work in terms of a donation or a patron. That's cool. But fucking paid mods, having to pay to fucking download the mod, fuck you. And if you believe in that, then you're not a real fucking modder. You're just a greedy fuck that's doing it out of money. You don't do it out of love or passion. So, yeah, just, uh, man, Bethesda is really becoming the next EA. They really are. And, you know, why did why even show up to this E3? I wish they didn't. Like, this 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 E3 really helped hurt my view of them even further after the Fallout 4 Minecraft Edition debacle. Fallout 4 Minecraft Edition was kind of proving to me that Bethesda is dedicated to the path of casualization, dumbing down, and the removal of RPG elements for, from all their future titles for the New Age Hats, And this just reinforced that. Like, I want to believe in Bethesda. I want them, you know, to, to go back and make a great RPG. Their next big game, their next big title or RPG is going gonna, is gonna to make or break them. It, 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 or for me, certainly. It's going to, you know, decide whether or not I ever go forward or support them in anything again. Yes, I think they are entitled to one massive fuck-up or one, one big letdown. Fallout 4 being that. But the next thing that they do, uh, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, whatever... Big RPG, if it's, you know, another casualized to the hilt, dumbed down, RPG elements removed, microtransaction, uh, settlement system, fucking bullshit, DLC, trash, then uh, fuck this company, I'm never supporting them again. Back in the day, they had love and passion for making the best games possible, the most amazing RPGs ever, and now they seem to have lost all of that, and they only care about dollar, penny pinching. Uh, look at, look, like... The Creation Club thing, it didn't say anything about making expansive quests, and say anything about making great new expansive environments. It focused on horse armor, mud crab armor, 
and stupid armor and weapon skins which people already get for free and everything they showed in this stupid r ridiculous trailer was all shit that people already have free mods for anyways and it's like and you say oh they say oh it, it's not going to destroy free mods we'll always support free mods that's a bullshit fucking lie and you know it deep down in your heart you know it's a lie you know that they're eventually they're going to get rid of free mods you know what's going to happen you know what's going to affect the free mods. And a lot of people who make the free mods, oh, I can get a cut, and then they're going to, you know, jump over, and they're just not going to make free mods anymore, and they're only going to do a paid. And eventually, it's going to get to the point where, you know how PlayStation 4 mods for Skyrim and, uh, or what is it, fucking Fallout 4 suck ass, how the, how the selection is so poor? Well, free mods will become like the PlayStation 4 in general uh, for the mods. Well, it'll be next to nothing, and all the good shit, like on the PC, will only be like for Creation Club. So like all the good real mods will all go to Creation Club and your free mods will be next to nothing. And I guarantee that's going to happen unless we the fans stand up, fight back aggressively, never relent, eternal vigilance. That is what is required. Eternal vigilance. Because if we are not eternally vigilant, then, you know, we're, we're done, man. Like we don't got a fucking future for games. Like... There's going to be another crash. I don't know. I just, This shit just pisses me off and really hurts me as someone who really enjoyed, you know, games from this company and who really used to really love this developer, now turned publisher, now becoming EA and, you know, anyways. Um, do you support paid mods? Um, I guess you can comment down below, but I'll rip, rip you to shreds. Uh... If you don't support paid mods, if you agree with me, please comment down below. Tell me your, you know, your thoughts or, you know, do you have any, you know, anything to say? Just, just let me know. Anyways, take care. Peace.